the new Parkway Theater, where good food, diverse entertainment, and community create a place for everyone. For showtimes and special events, check out www.thenewparkway.com. You are listening to High School 5 and where real talk is our vernacular. Shout out to Lonzo Ball for getting a uh, token uh, Mount Rushmore tattoo on your arm sponsorship. I was just going to say, if he would have had Mr. Marcus on there, it would have been the Mount, Mount Rushmore of black people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 maybe he'll do like those stupid... He should have, he should have had Mr. Marcus Garvey. <laughs> he, Mr. Marcus, Marcus Garvey. <laughs> <laughs> In between Mr. Marcus and Marcus Garvey. <laughs> Mr. Marcus with that goddamn cap. With, with, with the socks hat on. With the socks hat on. Mr. Marcus with the socks hat on. And then, and then Marcus Garvey, like the in-between. Maybe, yeah, with the cap to have. Yeah, he has some straight out of the maybe, sunglasses with Maybe you have Marcus Garvey with the Captain Crunch hat on. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then, you know what? You should have got a... Uh, uh, what's the dude in L.A. that died? Man? I'm on the touch group file. Okay. That Jarrett sent a million. You know what? This summer, I can tell he must have been really working hard because I didn't get the million videos. Usually, you get a million videos daily from Jarrett. Yeah. Right? At least two or three. Yeah. Right? See, but, parts of me wants to be on, and parts of me doesn't. No, no, it's yeah. better to not be All on. Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. But, but it kind of <laughs> made me feel bad. Like, damn, he must be stressed. He must be working hard. Like, dude, this has been a week, and I haven't got one. But then I can tell it was the last day of camp because we got two on yeah. Friday. Okay. And one of them... Well, it's P.J. Tucker on the on the FIBA, whatever, international U.S. team. And all I thought was, one, wow, that many people quit. P.J. Tucker. <laughs> Why are y'all sleeping oh, on P.J. Tucker? No, no, no. First of all, <laughs> break, breaking news, P.J. Tucker has withdrawn from the from the, <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think, I think that I was their way of saying, we're going to cut you because you ain't good enough. <laughs> yeah. We realized that. We realized that. Yes, you but, are like a good, def- quote, <laughs> good defender. That's because you try really hard you and you're hard. still only mediocre, kind of good. You're, you're better than average because you try so hard. You try so but hard. you're not good you as a defender. Like, if you play defense <laughs> at the same effort level as everyone else, you'd be like a below average defender. But because I you agree. try so hard just to play defense and all your effort. Like, he was yelling shit in the video. I was like, what is he saying? I, was I, like, got right, right, zone, I got I that flat. I got that flat. Flat, flat, flat. Me, 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 me. I was like. What is that? I'm telling you, is Draymond Green and PJ Tucker together would have been a great no, no. anchor to a team. You, that's you, not like that's not, not like one great. of the worst shooting. That sound like you, you know what that sound like? You got two of the greatest shooters, probably the best shooters of all time on one team. And then two of the worst the shooters, shooters of all time. Yeah, that's perfect. Hey, hey, hey. I still, you might be better for him. I still ref for Dre, though. I still ref for Dre. He has some big shots. Hey, hey, what I will say, though, is Draymond Green hits big shots and big moments, though. He's been starting to prove that he can do that. If we won game seven, he would have been MVP. Hold on. He didn't hit a single big shot in game, game, game four. No, no, no. No, no, I'm talking about. We can go through seven games. Houston Portland series. No, no, game five. Houston Portland series. The Houston Portland series, he balled. Game five, he hit a big one. Against Game five, he hit one. Game five, he Game one. five, he did. Because well, they were about to lose, the, lose and get swept, and he hit a big three, and then Clay finally hit a three. Clay after that. hit the bigger. No, three. no he hit one after Dre, but nobody was hit. Like they were struggling, and Dre, and they kept leaving Draymond open. He finally took one and hit it. Well, he took a couple of them before that too. And but, he dude, the he was. That's the reason why they kept the you, label open. If you, because he bricked them earlier. I don't care. You I watched that game that. from start to finish. I, I know. said this dude. Is no, no, throughout the series, I'm talking about throughout the whole series. He didn't shoot him. He, he should have shot so much more. And you guys just. But he couldn't shoot. The more you shoot, we'll see this year. Dude, right, nobody, that's why this year's exciting. Though, nobody I'm else. really anxious to see the ball movement. I'm really anxious to see D'Lo. I'm really anxious yeah. to see Steph with a chip on his shoulder. And I'm, I and say, I'm very, and I'm so I'm, happy I'm ex- to not see this, the me Jazz me. Kevin Durant. Can I tell you this, though, pal? Can, <laughs> can, can I tell you this? Kevin Durant. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. So I, that is what really upset me the most is when Kevin Durant went to Warriors. That's I was like, yeah. I was already struggling with basketball, as you know, before that. I was already struggling. Like, I wasn't watching all the playoffs. Yeah. Every time I turn on the game, I get upset, turn it off. Um, Quickly, are you a Laker fan? Or you're from L.A.? I'm from L.A. So, I grew up a Laker fan, yes. but I'm a fan of NBA. Yeah, I, love, yeah. I grew up watching. Yeah. yeah. I, grew, I grew up listening you're to not a Jerry di- You're not a diehard like L.A. No, people. No, I'm not a yeah. diehard. But I, I love the sport more than I love the you keep up. You keep up with it. You keep up with I it. I keep up. I want them to win, but I love the yeah. sport more. Than yeah. yeah. Like, no, when, when, the Lakers got, when the Lakers got Paul Gasol, I was pissed. 
Yeah. I was pissed that Jerry West gave him that, like, good luck charm. I was like, no, Kobe didn't deserve that, right? Yeah. He ran off everybody, and then Jerry West gives him a goodbye present at, right before he leaves Memphis. Paul Gasol for the base, for, uh, What's the name Marcus of that Marcus Gasol was in that trade. Marcus Gasol wasn't playing yet. He, he didn't, didn't play know, for like five more years, though. <laughs> he didn't even know if he was coming to America. It was Kwame Brown, basically, for Paul Gasol. That was a trade. And it ended up being Marcus Gasol in it, too, though. I, ended up, I was pissed. That was just a throw-in. Yeah. So people wouldn't But really he wasn't complain. coming to the yeah, He wasn't coming to the league for a while. No. They knew that. And I was pissed. And I was pissed. And I was like, I, I don't care about the winning. I care about competition. And the NBA's already top-heavy. Too yeah. top-heavy for me. So when Kevin Durant went... Yeah. He was the best player on the team for those two, three years there. And I would say this. I, he, I think Steph Curry is he, he was the reason they were able to have a lot of home court advantage. Because Curry keeps getting hurt. He's not getting hurt as he was early in his career. But he still, he can't make it through the full grind, especially if he has to be more of the man. Kevin Durant allowed that team. He was the man. Even on his bad days, he's still getting you 30 points. He could still carry a team to win on a day that nobody want to play in Atlanta, right? Yeah. On a day that nobody wants to go to Charlotte and play. We're on his road trip. Nobody wants to play. Guess what? Kevin still, just based on his pure ability, could get you 30 points. But was that a need? Did the Warriors have a need no, for that? No, they needed that to of be a championship change. quality team. But, but, but they I, went 73 and 9. Like, they and didn't have a need for some other guy to carry the load on the game in Atlanta that they didn't want to play. They were is, balling the, as is. This is what I always like to tell Bay Area people, especially yeah. people that. They, the thing that I noticed from years of watching sports, especially years of watching like good teams, like I went through two Laker teams, right? Yeah. Magic and then the you digress each year as you as you're winning, as your dynasty. Okay. You digress, right? And not not just because of you're losing talent. You do lose talent because of pay, but because of the wear and tear of more yeah. games. Yeah. Intense and games. then that's when that I'll say I said it before on the show, your true championship moxie come out. Yeah. That's that's what Chris Webber used to right. talk about when he was with Sacramento. He's like, man, yes. that Laker team, I idolized them that third year. They were dogs. Yeah, that, yeah. The referee gave them Game Six, but they were dogs in Game Seven. They did not quit. And that was their championship moxie. You see it when, and Rudy that's took, why we care about back. championships. You like, you want to see the championship moxie. That's what you and want. Kevin Durant kept the Warriors from me seeing. It. I didn't see it. Yeah, that's it. Carried. That's no, that's right. And not only did it kept the Warriors from seeing their championship mm-hmm. moxie. It doesn't tell me anything about Kevin Durant's championship oh, moxie yes, either no, it to go me to them, who's already the best yeah. team. It like, so no, I was upset by that, too. Yeah. But no, but I, I wanted to them. see. And here's the thing. I think the Warriors were still championship teams. They probably would have won one or other two left, right? Yeah. Maybe even two, but they probably would have probably, maybe just one, right? Yeah. But maybe, we would have saw. We never we got saw. a chance we to see. We never got a chance to see, and that's well, why I feel right. Now, yeah. I wanted to see. Well, now we I remember see. Game Seven. I was at watching at Kings at uh, New New Caribbean City. Mm-hmm. Game Seven. They had it on the projector screen yeah. when we lost to LeBron in Oracle. We were yelling, "Run that back!" As we're walking out of that spot, and like mm-hmm. people on 14th Broadway chanted, yeah. "Run that back!" We wanted to run it back. And then Durant robbed us. Ran it back with Durant. Well, it's all good. The the thing is, though. See, see, it's nice to talk to people like you because there's other word fans who. Oh, I know. There was nothing. Yeah, you you make me more happy about the situation. I appreciate that, Aaron. Thank you. Yeah, no, Pal, Pal, Pal is like me. He also along the lines with like the A's, like. Like, he, like, shout out to Tim sponsorship. Oh, he's more, yeah, like, that's what I was our like friend he's Tim, the opposite of Tim. Our, yeah. our friend Tim is like somebody who like is very loyal to the teams that he loyal. likes. Yeah, and will like loyal. does not like to talk bad about he's him at all. Loyal. <laughs> and so, and so when I start going off on Billy Bean and the A's, he's like, "Bro, you're not you're not being a real fan right now." And I'm like, "I'm not. I am being a fan. Dude, I, dude, I'm he, taking the time to think about him see, and talk about said, him." See, and I agree. And so agree, it, it's one of those things. It's our contention of what a fan should Tim be or Tim. is. Tim thought. And so it's it's whatever. We kind of understand that about each other. So, so everyone, A's fan. Every once in a while, I'll like kind of try and prod him and say something like critical of the Raiders or because mm-hmm. like, he knows I like the Raiders too. Oh yeah. no, yeah, he gets pissed when you say something about the Raiders. Though. Yeah, he's like, "You don't like the Raiders," and I'm like, "Yeah, I do. I do. I do." But. I'm just way more Cowboys, but I like the Raiders. I want to get pissed well. about you in the A's, really. You know, but he tried. Like, I've A's, gotten though. that too. I've gotten that. that you're a self-hating Warrior fan, like all that. Yeah. To me, the real if if Kevin Durant really wanted to have that legacy move that would have shaken up the sports world, that we that all the people that thought it was a bitch move to go to a team that beat you in in the Western Conference Finals should have went back to Oklahoma. Or we did. Check this out. Mm-hmm. He should have said, "I've got an injury, an ACL injury." Um, that is going to take me a year to rehab. I'm putting the NBA on notice, and any investor, businessman, NBA team owner, I will guarantee you I'll sign for the Seattle Supersonics. If y'all can get a stadium and team together in a year, I, me and Kyrie will go and sign in Seattle. We'll bring basketball NBA back to Seattle. 
fuck you to Clay Bennett and the Thunder, and that's and then Durant comes and wins a ring in Seattle after he single handedly like uses his power to bring the team back. To me, that would be the that like boss the, legacy. That would have been. I agree. Well, he didn't. He, I agree. It, things fell in the way they fell. It wasn't like he could just. And he can't call that shit out that early. He's like, but I still agree because I, I think Seattle needs a team that would have been tight. Well, so, yeah. so they're just gonna go on, go and sign for the next season until Seattle gets the team approved. Man, basically, season. no, they would not do that. Why? You, you, you secure the bag, bro. Secure, the, you secure the bag. Secure the bag. Stay in Oakland. Yeah, that was a win. So, like, I was one of the Warrior fans that I didn't have a problem with Durant joining the Warriors. I was like, cool. Like, everybody wants to work with good people, right? Yeah. Like Google recruits people from other companies that come work for them. And it's the same thing that happened with the Warriors. Like, cool, I don't want to have to worry about this fool over here messing up or J.R. Smith shooting the ball he's not yeah. supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, cool, I'm going to play. I want to work with some good people. Yeah. Like, you do the same thing at, at any other job. Like, all right, cool, this person's not necessarily pulling their weight. Like, let me go find a situation yeah. where I don't have to worry about it. I can just go play basketball. I don't even have to do all the interviews at the end of the game, yeah. right? Because there's four of the people they want right. to talk to. Right, um, yeah, so I, yeah, I don't, I don't blame Durant. I mean, yeah. I feel like, I feel like, and the Warriors made the best decision they could have made too. Oh no, I'm not mad at the Warriors for doing it, but it was an easy way out for Durant. I got a question. No, it's the, like, no, but, it, but it's like the it's, it's a win win. It's, it's like the biggest power move you could do. Right? Him going to the because it's the one thing that nobody wanted him to do. It's the one thing he's going to get the most hate for. If he would have went to, if he went to Boston, he wouldn't have got any hate. If yeah. he went to Miami, he wouldn't have got any. Yeah. You know what? If he would have joined up with anybody else, like everybody, would be like all right, cool, like you're going to do something. Are you big. saying you know why? did the hardest you know why move, right? No, no, you can't. But you can't put it like. That. You can't phrase it like that. Like he did the hardest thing because yes. it affected him. If he would have came over here and been like, "Fuck you," like if he would have just embraced it, like you know what? All right, do like LeBron did in Miami. All right, you want me to be the bad guy? I'm gonna be the bad guy. Like when LeBron did that one interview in Miami, it made me laugh. It made me respect him too. When he was like, he was like, "Oh, you know what? People just find reason to blame me right now. I'm the reason to blame. Yeah, blame LeBron. Just go ahead, keep doing it." He was like, "You know, you go to the store, they ain't got the, they ain't got the kind of you want two percent." <laughs> They didn't have 2%. They ain't got the kind of milk you want. Guess what? LeBron. It's LeBron's fault. He's like, I'm fine with that. I'll live with it. If Durant would have did that, would have been fine. But he came over here and he was more in his feelings, right? Mm. And like he still, he, he thought this would keep him out of his feelings, but he was more he's in his still feelings. still in his feelings. And he still is. So and I have a problem. As is Kyrie, came, which is why the Nets are going to blow up. It's a hard decision. If, if Kawhi would have joined LeBron in LA, that's a hard decision for him to make to say like, all right, cool. Like I just won a championship. But I'm gonna play with a player that's just as good as me, and like I'm not gonna necessarily I think have that legacy. I'm not gonna have some old bunch of old people on TV talking about how I cheapen the legacy. You know what? This I'm was... making the same amount of money. No, but that, this, is the the millenni- this is where the millennial comment is relevant. Millennials have that don't have the same value system we have. Mm-hmm. Millennials are. It's the same reason why, like, yeah, it's just it's it's winning at all costs. There's the character doesn't matter. That so if his mindset is just winning at all costs and you know, what the reality of what is. I mean, it's like taking candy from a baby or bombing a country that doesn't have an army. Like, it's it's not... It, you don't learn... It goes it's back like, to the Moxie It's like thing. Reagan taking over Grenada. Grenada. Fact, exa- and that's exactly what it's like. I've made this Kevin Durant signing with the Warriors in, like imperialist connection before, and everyone was like, you're driven. Yeah, but no. Aaron, <laughs> high score podcast, Aaron Common. Imperialism yeah. has hit. Ten minutes of firefighting. I got a question. Ten hours of sitting on the beach, Grenada. <laughs> The Warriors in their new iteration go on to win, uh, say, two more titles. The last time they lost in the finals, they won two of the, the next two, right? Maybe they come back and they win two of the next three or a couple that, titles that over the next Durant, few though. years. Don't forget, that I, I know, I know, I know, but I'm saying, but I'm saying they're older, so like, but they're they're hopefully better players. Clay hopefully mm-hmm. can come back, and they have D'Angelo Russell who could be some some supercharger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's this new iteration and the style changes that they make to the to the way they play. Steve Kirk calling you out. Shout out sponsorship, but also you need to step your coaching game up. If the Warriors go on and win a couple more titles, is Draymond Green, since you said it was his baby, is Draymond Green a top five Warrior if they're able to win like two more titles? A top five Warrior? Come on, Jay. Yeah, top, top five Warrior. Yeah. Can you name me some other words? I mean, you got Brent so Barry. Does, he, does he pass Tim Hardaway? Does he pass? Yes. Yeah. Does he pass? Uh, he's won titles. Does he pass? I think Chris he's passed. Mullins? He's passed yes. all those guys already. Pass he's Chris passed Mullins. those guys already. Yes. Yeah. See, see, this is my problem. My problem is he's now, done it for he's done it for seven seasons. My problem is nowadays people put too much emphasis on on titles because it's sort of like like if Atlanta wins a title now is is whoever they're a better player than Dominique Wilkins? No, right? No. 
Dominic Wilkins played during a harder era with Boston. But we're not, Boston we're not, we're not comparing that. We're talking about the Warriors, and we're talking about their players. So they players. Draymond's, <laughs> they Draymond's have contribution it. to who the Warriors are. It's, 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 I'm he's also, not a role player. No, he's not a role yeah. player. I'm also, yeah. I'm also putting it from the perspective player. of the fact that he's probably going to... But gonna, I don't want to take away more no, no, players no, no, but, shitty teams. No, no, but, but Aaron, Aaron you're getting back to that whole NBA vibe that you have. I'm telling you, I'm asking this question about this. Yeah. As him as a player for the Warriors, is he a top five player? Because he's going to probably have played his entire career for the Warriors all. Also. But you're telling me to say a hypothetical, and then you're not letting me compare him to other players. If we're going off hypothetical, I got to be allowed to make other hypotheticals. I don't know, no, but I want you to analyze it in, the, in that fact that it's, he's okay, going to so play his whole career. Frame that? I got to stay. If you frame it in the, frame it in the yeah. way in the front, the, yeah, like answer that question because because because, because, because you bubble. can apply Man, your standards. I, I'm put you can tier right. one of no, 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 you can still you can still apply your filter to it, but apply it solely for the Warriors franchise. All right. but I want to know time, if he's like, a top five warrior so, all time. If they so win two more, maybe. So we have a because so right, if Steph goes down, they still win a championship. That's different than if Draymond Green doesn't even play the whole year because he tears his ACL. Like, there's a bunch of things hold on, that happen. Hold on. Hey, I got to write this we down. We got to play the games and all the schedules. Like, yeah. it depends. Like, because he might he might get uh, I mean, he might, he might, the, he might get David Lee. Like, somebody else might come up and, like, be like, all right. I'm looking at it from the fact that he played. The area warriors? No, 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 no. Do I count Will Chamberlain? I'm saying top five warrior, warrior, and that's why I put the, the parameters on it because I think there's top five warriors like players. Like you can just list the guys like Kevin Durant's like probably number one. Will Chamberlain will be number two. You know what I'm saying? Kevin like, Durant you, is the number one. I'm just saying like no, no. I'm, I'm saying if here. you're not listening, that's what I'm saying. That's why I put the parameters on my question because you could just be like Kevin Durant, Will Chamberlain, uh, maybe Steph Curry, maybe Clay Thompson, Ooh. and Brent, uh, Rick, uh, Rick Barry. Rick Barry. You know what I'm saying? Like. There's team. There's players. There's definitely players that had some really dope years and that played their whole career or played parts of their career. But I'm saying if if Draymond Green helps them win potentially four or five titles as like a cornerstone piece of that team, yeah. plays his entire career throughout the phases of this and team, and they win two more times. Because because this is, this is a dope situation the Warriors are in. As much as it's a challenge, they can they can they can elevate themselves beyond Kevin Durant they if can. they succeed in this way. But and, I don't and, think they will. And, and it's good, but it's going to take a for, lot Especially of, for Steph Clay and Draymond's legacy. It's yeah. good, but, but we all know, I, I feel as though I really don't think it's the happen. driving force of the Warriors is still Draymond Green. Not as though he's the most talented player, but his energy, his accountability, everything he does yep. for the team, I agree. his unselfish play, even though he might yell at fools during the game, he's unselfish in the way he plays, right? Yeah. So I think yeah. is he a top five? So Brent, offensively, Brent, I can answer that question. Can I answer this question? Because I got my top five here. All right, you go ahead. No. <laughs> okay. okay. This, this, is my, this is my first problem. Even with your hypothetical, you can't taint the legacies of guys who played. Like, I got to see Mitch Richmond play his whole career. Dope, right? Chris Mullen his whole career. Dope. So I'll go with... Chris Mullen's not better than him, though. Rick Barry. Okay. Oh, Chris Mullen is... Way better. I got to see Chris Mullen play in college, and I'll tell you, he was better. That's he was I, I, better. I, I, His whole career was better. Yeah, Chris Mullen, Clay, Steph, Mitch Richmond, and Rick Barry. That's my top five. Right. Because you got to factor in the fact that he, that Draymond also gets to play with Steph and Clay. And Thank also, you. That he also gets to play with Draymond. That's Durant, what I said. You can't. That is still Steve Kerr. Like all those things. Like people playing with Donnie Nelson. Like people playing for yeah, him. But, but, like, but, Don, Donnie Nelson yeah. was putting people that shouldn't be playing point guard. Point all right, all right, all right, but that, that's I'll not the question. We all know that Draymond in another team with another franchise well. is not the same Draymond. Yeah. No, no. That, that, yeah. That's why, but we're talking that's about why he's about the being within the Warriors. Exactly. He plays his whole career at the Warriors. And they but you're saying they got to win two more times. I, say, if they, I don't think they're going to win. Well, he's he's a he's main component to four. He'd be a main component to either four or five. If they win another title, two of them got asterisks. Okay, if they win mm-hmm. another title without KD, yes. Draymond Green's there. He spent his whole career there. I could easily see him potentially being in the top five Warriors of all time. I'll put him in my top ten at all. Because time. this would be the most successful run of the Warriors franchise, exactly. Ever, right? Not and like, and well, I, so, but Stephen Clay above him. Either way, though. Potentially, right? yeah. yeah. So are, is, Clay, is, is, is Clay higher than Draymond I in think, this conversation? Absolutely. Yes, I think, absolutely. Yeah, Clay is up there. No, absolutely. Clay, yeah, I get it. Absolutely. I almost put Clay above Steph. They would lose some of those games. I almost put Draymond is, above is, both of them in some ways. The thing about Clay is, like, people, Warriors fans get mad at Clay when he doesn't score 30. Like, like he he's like, oh, defense, man, like, you like, he's playing defense against everybody. Like, oh, man, Clay missed that shot. Like, he somehow he got 22 points. And he He's, like, still defending. He's actually, look, I'm going to be real with you, Jared, and I know you hate hearing this. Draymond Green is a good defender, but I think he's overrated in his defense. Mm. And the reason why he's overrated, because everyone everyone says his good defender is because he uh, he's he can guard both guards and forwards. Yes. The problem is, I mean, the big men aren't the big. He's not going against Shaq no more. He's not going against. He, he didn't go against Tim Duncan in his prime. Harvey the Sabonis. He didn't go. You against, mean like one on one playing in the playing post. in the post. Yeah. He didn't okay. go against no post players. But that's not. So I don't want to better post defenders I anyway. I don't want to sit here and say, mm. "Hey man, 
hey, he was a great defender against bigs. Like, I didn't get to see him go against any bigs that could really score and were great and scored in the post or scored different ways. Here's the difference now. NBA don't score different ways. Everybody scores the same way. Someone said this. I forgot which NBA player said, dude, who's kind of in between the generations. And he was like, dude, I had a hard time with the past players because they had different ways of scoring. He was like, now, either you're a good shooter or you only slash or you're going to do this. He was like, he's like, before, my head used to be on a swivel playing defense. He's yeah. like, now, I just know I got to go at this one thing. So yeah. I think he's a great defender, though. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. He's but still a great defender. He's a great defender. He's a great okay. defender by today's standards. He should be all NBA, the NBA first, second team every year. I he's see a him, great defender. I see him as like a, uh, a think, poor man's Dennis Robin. Ah. The, Dennis Rodman wasn't quarterbacking or cornerback or safety. But, yeah, no, Draymond, defense. Draymond yeah. quarterbacks Draymond, the defense too. Draymond, though. Draymond, but Dennis Rodman also had to go against Carl Malone. Oh, he wanted to get Shaq. He wanted to get Shaq. No, 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 no. As a one-on-one defender, amazing, and he was, he also was good in help. That's the thing is that and I Draymond, think is Draymond, a Draymond has credit for that. Yeah. Draymond has great vision. And he'll he has, make the NBA he has, he has, all, all, he'll be a Hall of Famer because everybody makes it. But he also has great timing at how to contest and not just foul oh, out no, like some of these big jabronis, player. some of these big yeah. ass athletic seven footers who just foul out because they don't know yeah, how to. And he yeah. gets he gets boards over guys bigger than him all he's the time, a, which is why Bogut is an but asshole. It's also why I'm worried he's his body might break down. He's a smart player. He's a smart player. I'll Shout out that. to Draymond Green's but sponsorship. I'm just saying, Draymond Green, get I'm paid, just saying, man, Saginaw. To me, Clay yeah. is the better defender. It's sort of like mm. the, the Pippen versus Jordan, right? Yeah. Like everyone is like, oh man, Pippen's defense. I always tell people this Jordan was the best one on one defender of all time. No one, hands down. Hands down. Mm. Best one. You, the knee than the glove. Better than Kawhi. You know, you know what they used to call the glove? Before they, some stupid ass media person mm-hmm. gave the name to Gary, Gary Payton. Payton. Dude, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, they used to call Jordan the glove. Hmm. Huh. When the USA in 92 played against the college team and they lost the first game against them, it was like Allen Houston, Bobby Hurley, Grant Hill, Chris Webber, Shaq. They lost them, and then they, they were like, man, we couldn't stop. Forgot who they said, Allen Houston and someone else. They couldn't stop. They were like, yeah, we can stop them, but then we put the glove on mm. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Michael Jordan's best defender I've ever seen, but everyone just assumes because he was such a great scorer that it was Pip. Sort of yeah. like what Brandon said. You think Clay is just a shooter. No, Clay yeah. is more. I agree. I, I'm not taking so any away from above Clay. Draymond Green. So Brandon, what's your top five words all time in the parameters? Is Draymond in my in question. It. Start with that. Would question. Draymond be in it? No, I got. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. I'm just asking gotta, the see, question. You got to see a player like the guy who's who scores 10, 10, and two. Like you, I mean, it's hard. It's hard to put him up there, especially 10, 10, and ten. 10, 10, and 10. I'm sorry. Thank you. 10, 10, 10 and 10. 2. Because I'm on the fantasy team. Yeah. Ten, uh, he wasn't getting that other 10 all the time. <laughs> he was getting close to triple doubles uh, usually when he's healthy. But anyways, go yeah, ahead. Playoffs. It's, it's hard. Like, I mean, I want, I want to see him play the games on the schedule, man. I want to see what what happens. What does, happens he, yeah. does he have to become a more important piece? Because he's always been sort of that person that's like, all right, cool. Like, he can switch on this person. He can switch on that person. But, like, what happens when people game plan for Draymond, right? Here's what I think. I think Draymond is good enough to he's always he's proven throughout his career he knows how to adapt his plays he's, he's one of the higher IQ basketball players yeah. in the league right now yes, he is. and you can say that because because not he saying much though, he, but no no but, but, but you, for you I it's agree. not saying much but like but, he is. but but it's state of the union right yeah so he is. so he is and cuz he, he also played 4 years under one of the better college coaches in, in you know around and the problem is is not many players playing he played all 4 of years colleges, also so and so, no one's playing around so so he knows himself he knows the game and he's able to Adapt his game. Sometimes he's a little more aggressive. Sometimes he'll take the shot. Sometimes he's looking to. No, finish. no, he's a, he, he's he just probably, plays he's the game the really well, in and that's right. that's important. So I think he'll be okay, but hopefully he doesn't press too much. Cool. Cowboys. KD got paid, but not remember. That's the reason why Mike Connolly signed. He was the highest paid player. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, keep going, keep going. None of those uh, are Bismack Biombo, no. Andre Drummond, Drummond, Drummond would have been something. Dwayne insane. Wade. But he signed yeah. back with Miami. Yeah, no. Chandler no, Parsons. Year you you could have got Chandler, Chandler Parsons. Parsons. That, no, that year could we have gotten Biombo and Chandler Parsons oh, instead of gross. KD? That, 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 both that's <laughs> gross. That's, that's gross. gross. Dude, what are you talking about, pal? <laughs> pal, we was... What pal, 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 Hold on, stop, stop. Hold on, yeah, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You went back to back. Hold on. No, 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 no. I need to... Stop, stop. Back to back to back to back. Bro, hold on. Pal, next thing pal is going to be like, this is Biombo, Tyler. Parsons and Chandler Parsons. Uh, you got to back both of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. Hold on, hold on, pal. Yeah, hold on, pal. Tell me, 
in Draymond and Clay and Steph's system. I got to tell you. This one is just very Thank you. That's it. Let me tell you something. Chandler Price has signed in the probably the... Okay, you're right. That would have been the probably the... Eight, right? Yeah. He signed in the second best place for his his, his talents, and yeah. it still sucks. And, well, no, he hasn't played. No, no, the Chandler Parsons story is all fucked up because of Mark Cuban, and there you can't blame Chandler Parsons for Chandler Hold Parsons. On. You could have got Nicholas Batum too. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Bradley <laughs> Bill. Dude, Nicholas Batum on that Warriors squad. I'm telling Blue you, Al-Dang. maybe Batum, but but Ryan dude, Anderson. All right, you cannot. Who? You cannot say Ryan Anderson. That. No. Yes. Ryan Anderson, no, Ryan Anderson Anderson would be nice. No, but, 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 his no, no, but, but, but pal, you, you can't, can't pal, you can't be all like, well, <laughs> man, if we just get, you know, Biz up Yambo and Chandler Parsons, like, none of, neither of them has done well <laughs> at all. Like, in the Warriors system. It matter, yeah. no. In the they, Warriors system. No. They would have just brought the Warriors systems down. No, they wouldn't. Right. They would have they been nice you know value. Ian Clark at, was amazing for the Warriors and his trash anywhere else. They would have been nice value, but we would have been basically paying Chandler Parsons, Draymond Green money. To be to not be playing. Yes. And, no, and only be a three-point specialist. To be off the bench. After looking at that No, but you don't pay that agents. money for that kind of person. We're, we're lucky that other teams overpay those guys. Yes. Chandler Parsons has maybe played 80 games in the last five seasons. I know. Seasons. I know. That's all because of Mark Cuban. Like, That's because of Mark Cuban. Uh, his, him being injury prone and injured? Yes. Yeah, the whole thing. You don't know that whole story? No, what's the story? It was story? a setup. What's this, the story? His problem was he started dating the, the girl from Chris Lee Knows Best. And that Mark Cuban's involved in that too. Well, so what's the story? They're I'm sorry. not about to break it down right now. Y'all can read it. And then I, no, no, I read it a long story. time ago, and I remember it was fucked up. <laughs> no, this is a great story. Why would you not tell us? Mark, Mark Cuban. How are you not going to tell us the story? No, stop, stop. There was a whole Players Tribune when like Pow, how are you Chandler not Parsons t- did go to Players Tribune. Tell Chandler the Parsons story, bro. About how shady he got done by Mark Cuban. Just tell the story real quick. Go to. Right, but he signed his contract in the strip club, dude. Exactly. See, <laughs> he knows. This he whole did. <laughs> oh, shit. Who, 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 Mark, with Mark Cuban. Who asked to meet there? Probably Mark Cuban's That's responsible question, for all this. Because wait, 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 Parsons, wait, 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 I want to stop. I want another story. Fuck both y'all yeah, for yeah. trying not to tell the story. Just tell I'm the fucking story. I don't remember. I read it three years How you going to claim something that you don't remember? It's like, it's like, what do you feel about this geopolitical situation, pal? Fuck that shit. Why? I don't remember, but I, I read something about it a long time ago. Like, that is not worth it. I read information like that. Not like Hitler. It's like, it's like, like, pal's like, I remember things and emotions. Fuck that. I like that. Oh, I want to fuck that. Oh, that's beautiful, <laughs> bitch ass nigga. Like, no, pal, you have to have more content than like some like emotion, bro. You can't. All right, all right. Well, <laughs> for our viewers, please read the player. <laughs> we get do it. He I don't side of the story. People need to hear Chandler Parsons' side of the story. All right, that's thank hilarious. you. All right, anyways, <laughs> hey, uh, shout out to Chandler Parsons and the stripper who got paid by him and Mark Cuban that Chandler nice sponsorship. Parsons is <laughs> for Katie. Dude, wow. dude he would have had he would have Stephen Clay at the that. crazy I horse. That. Dude, Kevin Durant is the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin Durant's <that's> right. <laughs> like soul just melted. <laughs> I hope you hear this. I'm going to Chandler. <laughs> That's worse than you said, PJ. Tucker. You might as you might as well have said. Can a nigga borrow a French fry? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sad, note, sad note, Texas Longhorns, uh, Cedric ben- Benson. Dad hey, shout out to Seti Ben, man. Oh, Seti Ben, today. Hey, uh, RIP, man. Texas Longhorns. Shout out to Longhorns. Woo. Oh, uh, sad, sad news today. Shout yeah, out. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess next time we can talk about our, our favorite college running. Yeah, anyway. I do want to do a quick update. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> just kidding. Fortunately, unfortunately, well, it depends on your perspective. The straight pride parade um, oh, yeah. lost its second they appeal to get a permit for next weekend to do their straight pride parade in Modesto, California, um, due to a lack of being able to provide insurance for the documented insurance for the uh, event. So it's not happening, guys. So just a quick hitter. I don't, I don't know what the straight people are going to do Modesto now. I don't know how we're going to do the blue pride parade I don't, I don't now. How, I don't know how the straight people are going to celebrate. Maybe they'll just go to, like, University Pacific and uh, celebrate in fraternities. <laughs> like, they all, like, like most straight pride people do. They, they already have a straight pride parade. It's called Rush Week. That's a sad I mean, the social life in Modesto could be kind of dead. You know, they might need something to... 
You know, yeah. I know when I was in Modesto for a wedding, right. man, it was the greatest nightclub that I ever had. And especially when this this Escalade came around the corner and hit this corner, and I jumped out the street. I was like, man, it's hitting the corner too fast. And then it was the first time I ever seen people get bowled over in real life by mm. a car. Mm. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, yeah. It was Shout out. I haven't been to Modesto in a while. Maybe, Shout out to Modesto. Shout out to Modesto. It's pretty quick. Cool. 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 Hey, Modesto never lies. Like, Stockton is a different place now than it was when It's growing. It's trying to redevelop. Hey. But uh, for sure, uh, shout out to the Straight Pride Coalition. Um, we see you. Keep up with us. We acknowledge you, <laughs> and we hope you feel your own dignity. Right, maybe Lonzo should have got a tattoo of those. Fools. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, Proud Boys for life. That's on Trump's tattoos. List. Beat, he should got. He should get beat his ass, Daddy, and <laughs> in quotes, and then have his his little brother sign his signature under that from his WWE days. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, will so Jello Ball ever play in the NBA? No, oh, he might get on like a practice squad it's, or like. I a, think it's shit to say. Oh, he's been out, he's been out of college for like three years now. Right. Oh, no, we're yeah. talking about the, the, the oh Jello. That's the second one. Right? Yeah, yeah, the second one. Oh yeah, no, he's done. Yeah. No, he's done. He's no he, he'll get on like a summer league team here and there. How old is the youngest one now? The youngest one is supposed to be he's next year? going to senior year, high school he's in college, and then right? he's yeah. yeah I think he's going to senior or junior year of college, no, think, high school. Yeah. No, I think it's a year or two away. Oh, he's going pro next year. Yeah, no, the problem he, is he couldn't uh, go to college because I thought he was trying to go to Kentucky, but he couldn't go because he played in Lithuania. He didn't go to school. He didn't go to school. <laughs> right, you gotta, He's you like, gotta, you, you 15. We're going to Lithuania. What, daddy? <laughs> Beat his ass, daddy. <laughs> Beat his ass, daddy. No, <laughs> so I like that move. Originally, I like that move. Yeah, that was, a, that was kind of a It was a good way of thinking, but it was a stupid Yeah, thing. did they get him a private tutor? Because the boy don't seem like he got much more knowledge than a basketball. No, he, cut, he cut his hair. I'm going to give him credit.